Hi, my name is Kazar Jerdi. I run the mobile team here at Stack Overflow, and I'm here to talk about uh, DevOps and sysadmin with Tom Lomincelli. Hi, my name is Tom Lomincelli. I'm a site reliability engineer at Stack Overflow here in New York City, and I'm here to talk about my new ACMQ column called Everything Sysadmin. The ACM is t uh, technically for computer scientists and you know people in the weeds, and Q isn't for practitioners of that. What actually is relevant for them for your column? The code that people write is, you, know, you, you write it once, but you run it over and over and over again. So operations is super important, and that hasn't been recognized in the past. Just because it's a buzz, because it's going to be about DevOps? Is it going to be about DevOps? Absolutely. And I, I was taught that you should never define something by saying that it's not something else, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. DevOps is the opposite of waterfall. So in waterfall, the developers write code, they hand it to the operations people who have to figure out how to run it, and there's no communication back to the developers. As an example, early in my career, uh, I worked at a company that bought this large uh, business software package. <clears throat> it was going to be processing millions of dollars of transactions per, per week, and when we received it, our first question was, okay, how do we operate this? How do we do backups and scale and all these other things? And the vendor said, hey, we write the software, you have to figure out how to do that. Obviously, we needed to do backups. So without being able to communicate with the developers, the only thing that we could do was shut it down every night at 11 o'clock and uh, clone the disk and then start the software back up. Now, it would be ludicrous today to have a website that goes down every night at 11 o'clock for backups, but this is the situation we are in. Um, so contrast that to DevOps. In DevOps, there's no space between the dev and the ops, and that's because the, the devs and the ops have been pushed together, literally, and uh, they, they work together and they collaborate. For example, here at Stack Overflow, we don't you know, sit around figuring out how are we going to make this operable on launch night. Instead, at the very beginning of the design, uh, operations people are in the room um, because dev and ops are collaborating. So at the very beginning, we ask the, the questions everyone should ask. How are we going to do backups? How are we going to scale? How are we going to put this in a load balancer or some kind of resilient software uh, fashion? Then getting a little bit more specific, what's your first post on your new column about? So the first column, I'm going to talk about how not to paint yourself into a corner with automation. Uh, people often <clears throat> ask me, how do I write automation that uh, doesn't end up being so complicated that no one knows how to debug it? And so the article is going to be about how to write, um, or a couple strategies for writing automation that is more like uh, Iron Man's suit rather than Ultron, um, because uh, that, well, that's the metaphor I'm going to make. Good. All my codes like Ultron, it all fights back at the its creator.